Hey, you. Yes, you. <laughs> Don't give fuzzy answers. Represent your choices with clarity, authenticity, and passion. That's a quote I came across while I was attending a particular cooking school and I wanted to share it with you today because I wanted to talk about being true to yourself and standing behind the choices that you make. And because of the topic of these videos, I'm going to tie it in with those who have chosen to make a plant-based lifestyle part of their lives. Now, I know many of you who are transitioning or have been following a plant-based diet for many years know that some will support you, but when you talk to others about it, it can become heated very quickly. Now I'll share a little bit of trivia with you as, as to why. Did you know that for centuries, even now, meat eating is equated to luxury, affluence, masculinity, and power? So it's only normal that your friends and family or strangers may question your decision to become vegan or vegetarian they may challenge it, they may want to debate you, or all of the above. If I can offer any bit of advice, I would say to respond to any and all of those approaches subtly. Now, you know when someone becomes born again Christian, they are so excited to go and share the gospel and the good news of Jesus. That's how I was when I learned about the many benefits of becoming vegan. And... I may have been a little off-putting. Nobody wants to hear a preachy vegan. Not even me, now that I think about it. <laughs> just like those who are just joining whatever church they've decided to join, they're newbies. Maybe they haven't done the studying or the research that you've done, so they don't know the benefits of following a particular religion or a particular lifestyle, just like they may not know the benefits of following a vegan and or plant-based lifestyle. So in sharing your good news of veganism, you wanna to try to be compassionate as well as passionate because you do wanna share how beneficial it can be. Most of all, you wanna remain true to yourself and your reasons to why you made the decision that you did. You might even want to tie some facts and figures in just in case you are bombarded with questions. Hope this little tip helped. If you are newly vegan and you want to share it with your family, think about these things. Good luck. Stay on the journey. This is Kia. Hey, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a woman on a plant-based journey inviting you to come with me. Bye. Now, I've got this wine in my hand. And I know some people might be asking, well, if you're so health conscious, then why are you still drinking liquor? And to that, I say, mind your damned business. No, just kidding. I'm, going, I'm working on phasing that out slowly, but I also believe that life should be enjoyable. So even if you do not adhere to a total plant-based diet, I will definitely, definitely encourage you to incorporate more fruits and vegetables in your diet every day. In the meantime, I've been so many places in my life and times. I've ate a lot of beef. I even had swine. But as you can see, I am reformed. And eventually, maybe this will fall away too. Thanks for joining me again for Kia's Quick Kitchen Tip. Have a good one. I've eaten chicken nuggets. Without any thought of stopping, but I'm plant-based now, and I'm sharing. <laughs> I can't even finish that. Cheers! Happy Friday, y'all.